Good, what is it? Afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to Wells Flower Garden Tarot. Um, I'm sorry I've been really inconsistent, and I guess that's just where we're at for this summer. And you know what? I've come to the point, like at first, I really wanted to do, you know, daily readings. But it was getting to be the messages were like basically the same day after day, and it was getting like boring for me and had to have been boring for you. And I don't, and um, I shuffle those wrong. And so I thought, you know what? I, I, it's less predictable, but I'm going to try to do this them when spirit says, you know what? I have a message for your friends. And then I'll be like, okay. And if it's daily, I mean, if it's daily, it's daily. Because honestly, even though I've got other things to do, if Spirit's on my case to give a reading, I'll put it down because I feel like it's just important to do that. So, just giving these a fresh shuffle. I'm going to use the Rider weight today. Anyway, so I went ahead and pulled Oracle cards first. And it's very interesting because what we got was engagement followed by pay attention to the red flags from the Romance Angels Tarot deck. And I'm just shuffling these now. I'm not. Um, and so, the, you know, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. But there's signs that are cautioning you. And Spirit just was telling me, you, know, you might have somebody that's been playing you for a while that you are uh, doing well in life and that you may be empathic or you need to be a fixer and that's great but guess what you attract people who need to be fixed okay so then I pulled <coughs> two cards actually <coughs> sorry came flying out from the angel therapy deck there was first one was oh no the first one was if you get nervous, focus on service. So, like, if you don't know what to do, put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. And this one to visualize your success, see yourself doing well in this situation, and have faith in a positive outcome. Okay? So, um... What this is telling me is that honest, like true love is being hampered for you by um, your attachment to outcome with somebody that you are currently focused on who is not the one, who is not good for you, who is wasting your time. I'm just turning these around because I don't naturally take um, reverse cards. So, and I had given these a really good swirl before. Um, so, I mean, there's a full plate waiting for you, but you can't take it because your hands are full of other people's dirty dishes. Just okay. So, okay, Spirit, what's going on with our friends that are watching today in the collective that's attracted to, to what's going on here? Queen of Cups and a Five of Cups. So, yeah, <laughs> right? So, you're this, you're kind of at the top of your game. This is feminine energy, uh, in a way. Um, you're intuitive. You're <sighs> creative. Like, you, you can make something out of nothing kind of person and you've worked hard all your life but you're really not sure of where you're at maybe you're in a karmic situation maybe your gut is telling you that there's something going on and you're facing like you might be actually engaged or you might be just involved with somebody you might be married but there's something going on and your gut is telling you something's just not right this isn't the right person. I need to I need to walk away from this. Okay? 
All right, anything else? What's going on with our friends here? What's going on with this Five of Cups? Oh, oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're juggling. Two of Pentacles. Oh, it, oh everything's going to be all right. And then he's like charming and you're like back to it. Everything's going to be fine. And then it's like, ugh, no, it's not. And then it's like, ugh, yes, it is. Ugh, no, it's not. Right? So what's going on with this Five of Cups energy with this queen? What's going on with these people? What are the red flags? Doesn't want to come out. Okay, what's going on for our Queen of Cups? What's going on in the collective spirit? See, sometimes spirit can be kind of. I'm going to do three more, and if nothing comes out, I'm going to change decks. One, two, Three. Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. No, they they just said no, honey. That's the bottom. Death. What's going on? Poverty. And needing a rest. So what this saying is, you've been juggling this. Um. You have either broken up with this person, like moved on, like and you can't go back, um, or you know you are paying attention to the. The red flags have been there long enough and strong enough that you consider leaving, or you consider getting out of this relationship, but you are always um, emotionally tied to this person. Because this, like, in your heart, it's done. Like, right? It's, this is done. It's done. But it gives you poverty. But Spirit just said this is poverty of spirit. And so what you really need to do is take a break. And really... <sighs> spirit just said learn who you are. Remember who you are. Right? Because this is really taking some chunks out of you. So then remember this card. Like when you're feeling down. Put your focus instead of on your gut-wrenching situation on how can I make this world a better place. Volunteering someplace. Because it says the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Okay? So, what do we have coming in for this person? Yeah, it puts you at the end of a cycle. Okay. So, what do we have for this person? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta let, you gotta let that go. Nine of Swords. Like you're just like this is killing you, and you don't want to do it. Or you've gone back and forth, but this time it's like, right? It's keeping you up at night. Like, you must be exhausted. Because, like, the thought keeps running through my head. It's like, how did I get here? Well, Spirit just said it's embarrassing for you, too. Because maybe other people have been telling you that this person's not good for you. And you wouldn't listen. I can fix him, right? I can fix him. But now you're here, like in this Knight of Swords, like, oh my God, right? Like you're really in your head. So you need to, so Spirit's advice for you at this point is to find a way to meet new people because in the new people group is your person. Can we get a little bit of information, Spirit, on what the, what our friends can expect from um, a person coming in? What can they expect from the person coming in? Okay. 
This deck is being kind of stubborn today, but what can I expect from this person coming in? Whoa. Oh. Okay. So this person coming in uh, has also been through battle. It's a nine of wands. In some ways, this is a counterpart to you. It might be something that brings you together. You might be going into, see here's a, a cycle that's for both of you. Um, you might meet at like some kind of a support group or like a online chat or volunteering someplace to get out of your mind space about this. And he is magical. <laughs> Now, the magician isn't necessarily actually a magician, but Spirit just said he, you will look at this one and think, Magic, I can do anything that you desire. Magic, and you know you're the one. I don't know, sorry. It's terrible singing today. Too. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. That's a lot happier than this. And this. And this. <laughs> and this. Right? <sighs> this person. Oh. Okay. This could be marriage. With your soulmate, eleven, eleven could be twin flame. You, oh, spirit just said you think that this person's red, fl your twin flame, but this isn't. It's a karmic. There's lessons to learn from this. Your counterpart has his own set like this over here. Okay. Um, you both have been living a similar life experience of gut wrenching agony. He's magical. He's your twin flame. Uh, in this relationship, the, so yeah, the law of attraction will take care of your needs. See yourself doing well and have faith in a positive outcome. That's like all your hopes and dreams coming true. Just like the magician is bringing it all together. It's like over here, spirit's just like over here. You're always feeling like there's something missing. Oh yeah. This person you don't trust. You have spent more than one night wondering who he's or she's with. But then they come back and say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, baby. You know, it's just whatever. Make up an excuse and you want to believe it. But this new guy coming in is the King of Swords. Uh, this guy's a king, for one thing. He can be litigious. He can be... Um, What? Spirit's just telling me something. He's the kind of man that you've been longing for. Or woman. Like, this is the counterpart that you've been looking for. That you don't have to do everything. This, this person is not only going to pull his weight, but pick you up too. And you're a queen, so vice versa. So, I mean, this is a situation where you both give 200%. This person is responsible. I like this person. This person you can trust. This person will look after you. You will look after him. You're a queen. Okay? This person might be serious. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, this is going to be a short reading because, <laughs> I mean, the cards seem slow, but all of a sudden, yeah, this this person's, like, this could be kind of a dark cloud, but this person's going to rock your world. You, you both, though, in this 
new relationship need to really heal from your expectations of people because your expectations of people are low and so are his or hers like so is the counterpart you both need to let a lot of shit go in order to make this work I think I said to give this a shuffle for some reason What else have we got to tell all my people? I got lots of time. Friends involved. Maybe friends got you together somehow. Hmm. Or you have. Once you get talking, you find people in common. That's what Spirit just said. Once you get talking. And it's like, oh, and then you feel a little bit more confident. It's like, oh, because you both know this person and that's a really good person. It makes you feel more confident in, in because it's hard for both of you to trust each other. Oh, yes, it's hard for you to trust each other. But because you both know this this set of people from this completely separate situation, it it gives you a sense of comfort in each other that, okay, like that is a comfortable, common spot. Those people wouldn't be friends with you if you were a shit. It's kind of, ooh. And so this is it. I keep this card in this deck, in the Rider Waite deck. This isn't an actual tarot card. It's one of her paintings. But to me, this is a true lover's card. Because in the lover's card in the deck, uh, the couple, it's God's will for you to be together. But they're not actually together. Their hands are, like, they're just reaching for each other. But they're not. In this one... They're together. What do these other two say? Mm -hmm. So, Ace of Wands, it's a, it's a fruitful union. If you're, like, there may be children involved. Like, that you will be having children, finally. Maybe you've been waiting to have kids. And that you're hardworking. I mean... This guy is litigious. Maybe this guy was a little bit of a deadbeat, too. Or there, there was always something, like, or he overspent or whatever. But this, this, both of you, you know, work is important. And um, maybe work, work was an issue in both of your relationships. But here, the work is, like, you're comfortable letting the other person go on trips because you don't feel like you're fucking around. Yeah, this is coming in pretty soon. You're going to, some kind of messages going to come in, uh, but it seems like it's tied to, um, you know, like to get over this, and for him to get over this kind of the sim similar situation, you need just to really focus on how can I make the world a better place, and in doing that, that will lead you to volunteering or chat groups or different things, right? Um. And there you will meet this person. That's kind of really super cool. So, um, have a fantastic day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. And remember, I will be having my live on Friday, but I will be doing it at a different, a little bit earlier time because with the COVID thing, my friend where I keep my horses has been, you know, kept in the house with two teenage boys and then his her husband comes home from work and he's been listening to people all day and she well she's just been in the house with three wieners so we need to get i need to get her out of the house we're going to go have an indian supper i love indian food we've got this really good restaurant here run by one of my friends and yum and um so that being said i'm not gonna have the live at 7 this week, I'm going to have it at 5. No, I'm going to have it at 4. I'm going to have it at 4. Central Standard Time, that's Saskatchewan time. All right, so... So, yeah, have a great, great day. See you, bye.